Okay, so Be'ezras Hashem, we're going to be continuing with the Hakdama of the Sefer Zayar Kadosh. Bereshus, in the beginning, Rabbi Shimon Posach, Rabbi Shimon opens up. And again, Rabbi Shimon opens up his mouth, but Rabbi Shimon opens up the world. In the times of Rabbi Shimon, it was said, Posach picha v'yeir dvarecha, you could walk over to a child and say, open up your mouth and illuminate the world with your words, because that was how saturated the world was with the ore of the Butzina Kadisha, the ore Kitov of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And this is really the first time in the Hakdama that we're seeing Rabbi Shimon talk, uh, uh, share a teaching on this planet. Meaning we saw Rabbi Shimon share a teaching in the Masif de Durakia. And we saw Rabbi Yossi bring a teaching in the name of Rabbi Shimon. And all of the teachings in the Zayar Kadosh are by the Chavrai of Rabbi Shimon. But over here is the first time that we have a teaching of Rabbi Shimon in this world, as I, as I see on my side note over here. So Bereshus Rabbi Shimon Pasach, Rabbi Shimon opens up. Ba'asim devarai b'ficha, Pasuk says that I shall place, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I shall place my words in your mouth. Kama isle le'barnash le'ishtada ba'araisi yamama v'layla. How important is it? How appropriate is it? How worthwhile is it for an individual to toil over, to be mishtadel, to toil over, to put effort in, into the Torah, the araisi yamama v'layla, during the day and at night, Sakta Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh in, uh, in Savasa Rivash, that the Chiyuv to, to, to learn Torah, Yom and Belayla, is the secret of Mahapchen Leilois Diyamim, to transform days, uh, darkness into the light of the day. Why? Why is it important for a person? Why is it worthwhile for a person to, to, to spend their time on the Torah HaKadosh? Begin the Kudsh Vrichu Sayas Lakalin the Inun the Mustaske Ba'araisa. Why is it important? Because HaKadosh Baruch Hu listens to the voice of those who are engaged in the Torah. And every word that is mechudash in the Torah, and again, it's not a, a, a novelty of content, but a novelty of context as well, of reorienting oneself to the Torah over and over and over each time they come in contact with it, each time they're reading the same Aleph base, they're coming in contact with an entirely new secret that was simply concealed in relationship to what I understand now and concealed with relationship to what I'll know in the future. As Rebbe Chanan Wasim in Hashem Yim Kom Domo writes in Kovitz Ma'amarim, he says that, what does it mean, Torah Hashem Tamima Meshivas Nafesh? Torah Hashem Tamima, that means if you take Gan's Torah, Torah Sheb Chsav, Torah Sheb Peh, add this, the lowest and, and, and most particular, as particular that you can, it's still Tamim. The entirety of the Torah has still not been touched. Because the Torah is so perfect, the Torah is so whole, that it's incomprehensible to our minds. But over here, it's taking each and every word, each and every word of Torah that a person learns. There's a chiddush, the ischadish ba'araisa, al yada dahahu ishtada ba'araisa, ovid rakiachada. Through the efforts and the chiddush of this individual who's putting in effort into the Torah, they create a new a new heaven, they create a new space in Shemayim, they create a new reality for themselves. They create a new ontological space that is as real as anything else because it is emergent from my own effort down here. It's taught and we learned that in the moment that the word of Torah emerges in a novel way from the mouth of the individual, those words ascend upwards, they travel upwards and they testify in front of the Rabbani Shalalem. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes that word of Torah and he kisses that word of Torah of Itzrin And he crowns it with 70 crowns that are engraved and written. And the words of Torah, the words of Chachma, the words of wisdom that are mchudash, that are emergent from a state of concealment into revelation, which is the secret of novelty, a change from a stage of darkness into light, the Chiddush, the Tesefes Kishat. Allow us to return back to the beginning to uncover new strength, to reveal a new future. In a sense that it sits upon the pillar of the Tzadik Chai Almin, that pillar of Das, of Teferis, of Yesoyed, of Malchus, of Keser. That Amud HaYesoyed, that Chut HaShedra, that ascends upwards, Ad or in Soif Kavyachol. Sits at the top of the Tzadik Chai Almin, that word of Torah. V'tasem iteiman v'shata b'shivin elif Almin. And it leaves that place, it settles there, and then it leaves, and it flies from there, and it floats, and it flies in a floating way 
throughout the 70,000 worlds. Again, 70 is the language of the Sheva Tachtainim, of, of Chesed to Malchus, which is multiplied by, by, uh, by 10,000. The Slika Lagabe Atak and it ascends from that place of revelation. It ascends from that Chut Hashedra, from that place of the Tzadik Chai Alman, and it ascends into all of the worlds upon worlds upon worlds until it comes to sit in that chamber of the ancient days. The ore of Atik, the ore of Keser, the ore of that which remains perpetually part of my conscious mind, yet somewhat remains from my conscious mind at the very same point, the horizon of my experience, wherein the lowest level of the previous level becomes the higher level of where I'm at, and the highest level of where I'm at brings me to enter into a new place, which is a new Malchus, a new Giloi, an or Chadash al Ta'ir, v'chol milin Atik Yoimin, and all of these words of the ancient days, milin dechachmasa, they're words of wisdom, even the brazen stimen iloyen. As wise as these words are, and in ancient as these words are, these words are still caught up in the secret of the concealment above. Vehahi mila stima dechachmasa deschad shahacha. And this word of wisdom that has been created here, that or of novelty, something new, the possibility of a shift in that which is old, kad salka, as it ascends upwards, it's chabris bi'inun milin da'atik yaymin. It attaches itself to all the other words that created all the other heavens in the world. The salka v'nacht bahade, And it meets them and it rests with them together. Va'ayalis b'timna sar almen genizim. And it ascends into those 18 worlds of concealment. The tzadik chai almen. Chai. Chai chai yaducha. That no eye has beheld other than HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself, that secret of 18, that secret of, of the panemius, the panemius of that soid, of the orb, Yesoid Kitov, that light that is hidden away, or Zarul at Tzadik, Simcha, that or of the Chai Alman, the Chai Olamin. The Chai Olamin. And it leaves that place and it journeys on. And they ascend and they float away and they arrive back filled and perfect. Filled and whole, rather. And they stand in testimony in front of HaKadosh Baruch Baruch And at that moment, at that moment, HaKadosh Baruch Hu takes that word and he places it in front of himself above all other words. mila. He takes that word that was ascendant right now, that new chiddush from wherever the person finds themselves, the atela, and he crowns it. The plus may of a shivin elif itrin in three hundred and seventy thousand crowns, like we saw three hundred and seventy. The shanuhurin, the shin, and the ayin, the shashua. The secret of Torah, Lule Sarasva Sha'ashua, Azavadi Tibiani, if it were not for the capacity of novelty within the Torah, within the way that I look at reality, the judgments and the reflections that I have as a Yiddish and a Shaman, this world is my Chelik in Torah. And that Os of Torah can find itself stuck in the ground in the secret of Nafal Os, and we can pick it up and refine it till it becomes Nifla Os of the Torah. But in the end of the day, each and every person's Torah is Lule Sarasva Sha'ashua. If I can't find that novelty of the Mineyu Bay, of something emerging out of itself more and more, in spite of the fact that the source of it seems to have dried up, so then we can understand the secret of the Piriya Biribya that's inherent within every word of Torah that we speak. This word ascends and it travels and it arrives and it rests and it creates a new heaven. And so too with every single word of Torah that ascends upwards in the guise of wisdom, that they create new heavens that continue to exist. They exist, they're real. The places that we go in our minds for protection, those chidushe Torah, they're real. They sit in front of Atik Yaimin, Vukari Loin, Shemayim Chadashim, Shemayim Chudashim. There are new heavens and a heavens that are perpetually recreating themselves. Steam and Drazen the Chachmasi law, but they yet they operate in the secrets of the concealment of Chachmi law. These hidden concealed worlds that are real and perpetually refining themselves and recreating themselves. And they encounter all of the other words that a person is Machadish in front of Akadish Parahu. The Salkin Vasavidu Artsa Sachaim, and they go and they create the land of life, Artsa Sachaim, Chai Chai Yiducha, Chai Elam. Benachtin Ma'achin Lagabe Eretz Chad, and they gather together and they crown themselves in one particular place in Eretz Chad. Vishadish Vishavid Kula Eretz Chadasha. And everything and all places are transformed into a new land. Mehahim Milad Ishadshiba Eraisa. 
through this word of Torah that emerges, a person has the capacity of recreating all of existence. And this is what the Pasuk means. Kaddish Baruch Hu says, these new heavens, this new world, this refinement and renovelization of everything, the opening of newness from within the old, Ani oisa, that I engage in, that I create. Asiti like siv. Pasuk doesn't say, a Kaddish Baruch Hu says, I have created these. Ela oisa, I am creating them. Da avid tadir. Then my subaracious is happening tadir. Tadir, tadir, tadir. Always, always. Every point of reflection is a new creation of the world when one realizes that every ounce of their lives is a chiluk of Torah. Mi'inun verazin da'iraisa. They emerge out of these novelties and these secrets of the Torah. Ba'adok siv. And this is the Pasuk we started off with from Rabbi Shimon. This is again Rabbi Shimon's first teaching. That I shall place my words, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in your mouth, and in the shade and protection of my hands, I will cover you, in order to plant a new Shamayim and to create the foundation of a new land. Hashamayim like siv. It doesn't say the shamayim in some metaphysical way, as if it's one specific thing that has to be identified. Like siv, ala shamayim, shamayim. It's a nameless, anonymous thing. Am Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar, who's always with Rabbi Shimon, even when we don't know that he's with Rabbi Shimon. Even when we don't know that he's with Rabbi Shimon. Mahu betzel yada ksisayich. What does it mean that I will cover you, I will shelter you? In the shade of my hands, Amr Lay, Rabbi Shimon answers, Bishaisa this Masar Araisa the Maisha. In the moment that the Torah was given over to Maisha, Asu Kamari with him Lachi Loyin Luikin Lay Bishal Huve de Fuman. That there were a number of celestial forces that came and they wanted to challenge him and burn him with the flames of their mouth. At the Chafe Alai Kutsabrihu until the Kaddish Baruch who covered him, protected him. Vahashta the Haimila Salki Vesacha, the Kaime Kama Kutsabrihu, you Chafe Alai Mila. And now, just as HaKadosh Baruch Hu did it with the origin of the Torah, the or of the entirety of the Torah, of Moshe Emes and Sarah Basay Emes and Tyrus Moshe, and Moshe Shapir Ka'amart, and the Das of Moshe, Kedas Moshe of Yisrael, of Elyonim Lamata, the Taplenim Lamala, the same way that Moshe Rabbeinu was treated and covered over by the Rabbani Shalom, so too HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to protect the words of Tyrus Moshe as they ascend upwards and they sit in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is chafi ala himila. He covers it over. Vakasi ala hu barnash. And he covers over the individual. So that they shouldn't know about it. Only HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows about this Torah. And there should be no jealousy. And under the protection, under the protection and the concealment, a new arts and a new shemayim are formed. That through Akadosh Baruch Hu protecting us with His hands, we are perpetually engaged in lin shemayim in that moment where HaKadosh Baruch Hu is protecting us, we are kindling the light of Mashiach, kindling the light and planting the new Shemayim and preparing the new world. From here we see that every word that remains concealed from the eyes ascends upwards for an elevated purpose. And again, the, the, the secret in the Zayar Kaddish doesn't mean it's not necessarily revealed because it's being revealed right in front of us. But rather, it's the recognition that even when it's revealed, it's still concealed because it's Sayyid Hashem Liyareyav. Ubri Sayyid Lahadiyam. Bikesh Yaakov Lagalus is a case v'sasami menu. That that's the secret of the case, that it's a Sayyid Hashem Liyareyav. The, 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 libi, the, I forgot what the Pasuk is, but the secret of the Libi Galegalisi. That HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't reveal the Yom of the Kates to the, to the Tzaddik, to the heart of the Jewish people in the depths of the heart, because it has to be a secret of a Soid. And so over here, when it says that every word that's a Soid, that ascends upward, serves as a toelas, yes, ain a davar, ain bracha shaylet ela adavar samu mina ayin, but when in the Zayar HaKadosh and in the Gans Velt, every person's eyes are closed and everybody is sleeping and they're dreaming in the secret of Libi Air, so then even when you speak out loud, like the Piyazat Nareba, Hashem Yim Kamdomo, whose yard site it is tonight, he says, nobody's listening to the Torah, so I might as well start speaking to the Rabbani Shlalem and open the window and speak to the world, because people have a tendency to want to eavesdrop. And so there's no ba'aya with speaking out these words of Pasach Picha V'yair Dvarecha. If one enters into the table with Rashbi, one lives in the door of Rashbi. And if one lives in the door of Rashbi, then there's no problem with revealing the deepest secrets of Torah, because we're aware that it's still a secret. And that's the Ta'al Ta'ilah. Ve'yudachsev v'sel yadai kasisayach. Ve'amma yeschafi ve'eskasya me'ena. 
And why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu need to conceal it and protect it from the eye? Begin so that it should have an ascendant purpose. And what is that purpose? As it is written, to plant the new Shemayim, to create the foundation of a new earth. Hamad Itmar, as it says, so the Kaddish Baruch Hu says, Tzion, Amiata, you are my nation. Loimer le'inun tarin umilin de mitzionim ilin al ilin imi amiata. That one should say, a Kaddish Baruch Hu says to each of every one of these words of Torah and these worlds of Torah that fold one upon the other. Amiata al tikri as the tikkunim say, Amiata as if you are my people. Ela imiata, but rather you are with me. Lemehve shut ve imi that you are my partner in the creation and the novelty of this world. Just as I have created Shemaim and Aretz with my words, in the words of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the new heavens are created, so too by you, with every word of Torah, with every word of Tefillah, because the Taklis is the Torah into a Tefillah, of a helplessness at the heart of Torah, that's a beseeching after the Rabbi Nishlaim, of help me, help me, help me. Of Hatsileini, of Lule Seros the Shashu Ayos Vadati, the Shashuum of Torah, and Neskala in accordance with the recognition of Lule Seros the Shashu Ayos Vadati Biyani, in accordance with the knowledge that I can't live without your Torah, so too is going to be the secret of the Shashu Ayatora, which are creating new worlds. Zakin Inin the Mishdadli the Araisa. Praiseworthy and meritorious are those who spend their time in the Torah. Okay, Ezra Sashem, Shibi Zaycha. Okay, Chavar, Laila Tov.